Welcome back to Life Lessons. I'm Nate Eaton here with Judith Seal, S-I-L-L. -L. <laughs> and we are at Morningstar, of course, talking with these wise folks about lessons they've learned in their life. So Judith, how long have you lived at Morningstar? Uh, four and a half years. And what brought you here? My children. Yeah. <laughs> I'm from Washington State. Lived on a farm all my life, and my daughter lives here in Ammon, so they moved me over here. And what are your thoughts about Idaho? I like it, but so does everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people moving here, right? Yes. Yeah. Right. So, so. you were uh, living in Washington. Is that mm -hmm. where you're originally from? I was born and raised in Washington. Uh -huh. And you sit on a farm? Yes. My dad had 135 acres. Wow. And did the yeah. kids help out? Yes. <laughs> Kids ran the ran yeah, it, right? Well, we were there was only three of us, but we were dad's helpers, right? So, what are some of the lessons you learned as a farmer, as a farmer kid? Work. Nothing comes easy, and but there was a lot of joy in it too. A lot of family things that we did together, and so we learned to get along. <laughs> what did you guys farm? We raised registered Black Angus cattle. Oh wow! Yeah. So it was a constant um, business. I mean, we just were always working. Yeah. You ended up meeting your husband. Mm -hmm. How did that happen? Uh, he um, lived there too, and we were neighbors, but re I mean, we knew of each other. And I have three children. Three children, mm -hmm. one in Idaho. Mm -hmm. Two, actually. Two. My son lives in... Um, Oh, Nampa. And uh, when you were raising your kids, did how did you instill that farm hard work quality in them? Well, from the time they were able to be out with us, uh, you know, because I only, um, I married and I lived uh, like a quarter mile from my parents' home or ranch, and so we constantly worked on the farm. Oh, so you continued to farm, even with yeah. your own kids? Yes, my, well, we continued to help my dad and mom. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow. Yeah. And has the farming tradition continued? No, I wish it had. Yeah. <laughs> I miss it. <laughs> what are some lessons you learned raising your children that you could share? Probably the most important one is don't be judgmental. You know, don't, uh, don't judge a book by its cover, because there is a lot in everybody. Yeah. You just have to learn how to bring it out. Do you have any regrets? On life? Yeah, just overall. Anything you'd change? No, I don't think so. Um, I mean, we always want to do better. But as far as how things, I would love to be back on the farm. I really, that was my life and I really enjoyed that. Yeah. yeah. What do you want to be remembered for? Uh, probably uh, helping others. It's been a big thing for me here since, I mean, it's always been in my life, but it's been a big thing here that um, I have been showing people how to make quilts and like, for instance, it's Easter time. And I, I don't know why, but when I first moved here, I had about, oh, about 20 good friends. So I went outside and you have lots of rocks here. And so I started painting them. So that transformed into two Christmases ago, I painted 150 rocks because I, I like to hand them out. And like I spent last night painting, I think I'm up to 90 Easter eggs. I mean, rocks that look like Easter eggs. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And so, you just and then, give them to your friends? So then the night before Easter, uh, we go around, somebody helps me and, and we put them on their doorstep. That's fun. Yeah. And did you just come up with that idea out of the yeah. blue? Yeah, it just started from 20 people and then it started to grow and it's really grown. Yeah. Well, if you're doing it at Christmas, you probably have to collect the rocks <laughs> in the fall or the summer. That's right. I have boxes of rocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Any uh, advice you want to share before we say goodbye? Oh, uh, just uh, in living with everybody is just be forgiving, you know? People don't realize sometimes how they are being to you or to someone else. And so to get along is just be forgiving. Great advice for everybody, no matter where <laughs> you're at in life. Yeah.
All right, we'll let you get to bingo. <laughs> okay. Win for me. Thank okay? you. Thank you. <laughs>